Okay, YouTube, this is video one of three. <laughs> um, this video, I'll first go, uh, I'll talk about the inside. Next video will be about the outside. And third video will be pictures and captions on what we did. Um, so this video is about installing a wood stove um, with Selkirk and Supervent uh, chimney pipe and wood stove pipe. Selkirk and Supervent are the same company. Um, it's just that um, the black uh, wood stove pipe is Selkirk and the Class A is um, Supervent, or it's the other way around. I'm not sure which is which, but that's what the difference is. Um, the stove is a century heating stove. Um, we got all this stuff at Menards. Uh, Menards, <laughs> I don't know if they just don't carry everything or if they just... Um, or if Selkirk just doesn't make everything the way they should, but we've had our share of headaches with trying to make this pipe work. Um, also didn't help that the people that work at Menards don't really know what the heck they're talking about, so we had to make this work the way that we had to make it work. So, um, first I'll just talk about um, what we did on the inside with the hearth and the tile. Um, the hearth is this, it looks like wood, but it's actually porcelain tile. And it's on top of a quarter inch piece of uh, cement board, which is on top of a half inch piece of plywood. Um, only reason we have it so thick like that is for durability reasons. Um, we wanted to have the option to take the hearth with us if we ever did move and took the stove with us. So um, it also is just easier than trying to cut out carpet. So um, obviously the trim work is not done yet. There will be trim around the whole outside of the hearth and the walls and um, between the, the top and the ceiling. Um, the, the brick is level, but the, uh, ceiling, my house is not, so that's why that gap is like that. Um, but we'll put a trim piece up there and then just fill in the, the gap between that and the ceiling with some caulk. So, um, the, uh, what we did for the back here, well, we have these, they're about three eighth inch thick tiles. Um, we have that on top of a half inch piece of this cement board, it's actually perma board. Um, but if you use that or Durac, whatever, any of them are fine as long as they're non-combustible. And then behind that half-inch piece of uh, this permaboard is more permaboard, but these are actually two pieces glued together. They're about an inch wide, and they're, they're shims. Um, so they're an inch thick, about an inch wide. Um, they are long on the sides, but we do have them spaced out pretty well um, on the inside studs behind the wall here. And the reason we did that was to... Um, allow us to move the stove closer to the wall. Um, I will go over that quick in the book. This is the book for the wood stove and they tell you in here, excuse me a minute. Okay, back to this. So this is the clearance for um, the stove. We have double wall wood stove pipe in here. Um, the distance from the back of the heat shield to the wall, letter A, is 10 inches. Um, so we have, uh, since the stove, my house is so tiny, we didn't want the stove to stick out 10 inches. They have this next page here um, that says if you have ceramic tiles, which we do, um, non combustible board, which we do, spaced out by these inch non combustible spacers, which are those shims that we made, you can reduce your distance by 50%, which can make the stove um, 5 inches. Um, away from your combustible material. Well, our combustible material is actually the studs, which are, you know, far back, even behind the shim pieces. So the stove, even though it is only like three and a half, four inches from the tile, it is well over five inches from the um, combustible studs. Um, next thing on the inside here, what we did with this uh, pipe here. Um, we did not buy the through the wall kit only because everything in the kit bought separately was cheaper than actually buying the kit. Um, but we did, you know, buy everything that was in it, in theory. Um, this decorative piece um, came with the, um, the, the two metal pieces, which was that wall thimble that your, um, your class A chimney pipe ran, runs through, through the wall. Um, we have, obviously, the circle piece is on the inside and the square flashing piece is on the outside. Uh, the 12 inch long, um, 6 inch stainless steel chimney pipe on the inside attaches to this. This is wide here 
and then gets narrow underneath this collar um, and then actually has ridges on it. Well, this elbow, since the flat side's here, it has ridges up here as well. Well, this, this piece's ridges fit inside the elbow's ridges, and that is because I believe this piece is actually technically single wall. But because we were able to make it work, that's what we did. They don't have pieces like this for a double wall. I don't know why, but that's, you know, a wonderful thing about this company. So we you know, added this single wall piece to this double wall piece and then just hit it with this collar and don't even know. So that's what we had to do because that's what worked. And then for this piece, this was our next uh, problem here. This is 24 inches long. Well, the next uh, shortest piece is an 18 inch piece, um, which is actually the adjustable piece. It goes from 12 inches to 18 inches. Well, 18 inches is too short and 24 was too long. So we had to modify this piece. And what we did was we drilled out the rivets um, and then that inside stainless steel um, collar, you know, slid out of it. So we, we trimmed off the distance from the bottom on the smooth part of the black piece. Then we did the same thing with the inside stainless piece. Uh, and then we slid them back together and reconnected them just with these screws instead of rivets. Um, so next thing I'll just touch on quick that you'll see in the pictures in my third video. Um, there is uh, this strip that you'll see. And this strip is just because um, we wanted the, the whole wall to be centered in between the windows. So since the studs were not, uh, we added just a strip of this plywood and um, cement board here and the only reason we did that combination of materials is because it brought it out an inch we had it laying around we weren't going to go and buy something separate so um you don't need to have anything special for that if that's what you're dealing with but i think that was just you know specific to my house so um yeah that's the inside so now we'll uh i'll post another video on the outside <laughs>